Welcome back guys, Gaming with True here with a new video. This time I'm upgrading the hard drive on my PS4. I got this originally with the Destiny bundle back in 2014, has a 500 gig hard drive. Um, I just picked up a new hard drive here. It is a two terabyte drive. So we're gonna go through and pop this off to begin. pretty simple All right. and uh, here you have a screw that's got the PlayStation button symbols on it so what you're gonna want to do is take that off literally one screw holds this uh, drive in alright so see if you can see that see that screws got the buttons triangle square circle and X Put that off to the side then you got a little handle here Let's pull that out and what we have here is a Samsung spin point hard drive here there's your model number all right once again it's a 500 gig you can see right there okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove these here which will release the drive. All right. It's really not much to it. Um, I already went ahead and backed up my game saves. Um, to save some time, I didn't back up the entire this entire hard drive because. I have over 400 gigs on it and uh, that would just take too much time. Um, I didn't want to wait, you know, six hours or whatever it's going to take to back it up. So what I did was I only backed up my game saves and uh, I have everything on disk. Um, so I'll just reinstall all my disk based games. Um, then I can download all my PSN uh, games and then the trophies are saved online. Alright, so we're going to take this hard drive out. So you see the SATA connector stays on that end. Put that to the side. So here's a new hard drive. This is brand new. Got this off of Amazon. So again, it's a 2 terabyte drive. There's a comparison. Okay, there's the model number of the drive that I use there. You can see it's 2,000 gigs or two terabytes. Okay, just gonna drop this in here. Now we're gonna take these screws again. Try to get these back on if I can. Oh, give me one second. All right. So it looks like it's got these little rubber feet things. I don't know what to call them, but go ahead and remove those so that the drive will go in. And I'm not going to tighten these all the way until I get all the screws in. Once again, take this off here. Put the screw back. Dropped one on the floor. I'll get that in a bit. This one's gonna be a little tricky because it's got the uh, little metal piece right here. It's not easy doing this on camera either. Let's see if I can just get it like that. All right. So I'm just tightening them enough where it starts to grab, and then I will screw it down a little bit more. 
Okay. So basically, new drive is installed. Go here, put that in. And it, you don't really hear like a physical click, but you can feel it go in. All right. Then we're gonna grab our one PlayStation screw. Get it in straight, obviously. Put that in, all right, and put the top back on. Not the easiest thing to do, trying to look through the camera lens, but there you go. Put that in there. So the only other thing that's left to do is to download the software, the OS basically. And what I did was I used this 16 gig uh, SanDisk 3.0 drive. Plugged this in, went to uh, Sony's website and downloaded the full software. And then um, I also have all my game saves and stuff backed up to this. And I don't have too many games for PS4 so it only has like a gig of like backups and stuff. So essentially you go in there, you uh, install the uh, the OS essentially and then um, you restore your backups and I'm just gonna install all the game discs back on and then I should be good to go um, basically I was just going for space originally I had ordered a Western Digital 7200 RPM drive but it was only one terabyte and if you know anything about hard drives and whatnot you don't get the entire space it might be a terabyte but you end up with I don't know let's say you know by the time you get everything installed, I would have. I already had this one set up at 400. So, out of a terabyte, I might have had like 300 gigs, 400 gigs left. So I was like, let me just go big. I don't want to have to do this, you know, every other year or every year or whatever. So, pretty easy swap. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, fire it up, get everything installed, and just go back to gaming. All right, guys. Questions or comments? Let me know. Thanks for watching.